Hey everyone, not so a Stranger here, and today we're taking a look at every location for the Unknown in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So basically you get access to the Unknown after you get back from the Solacian Ruins, with Leventon upgrading your Pokédex. In your Pokédex you can check which Unknown you have and which one you don't, and they all have a Greedle for you to find them. This won't be by alphabetic order, this will be by area, so it makes it easier for you guys to track them. I advise you to have every single ride for you to try to find all the Unknown. We start in Jubilife Village and with the known age. The riddle is a village gateway, so all we gotta do is check the gates and we'll find our target. And on W says the left eye atop the village, so all we gotta do is find the highest spot in Jubilife Village, which are the rooftops of the Galaxy Headquarters, go through Kamado's office and find the Magikarp's eye. Unknown question mark says where things hang out to dry at living quarters. That's the clothes hanger behind our house. And that's all for Jubilife Village, let's make our way to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Unknown E is in a lone tree in the pond in the grove. There's only one grove in the map, the Grueling Grove, so just find a pond and you'll find a tree and the unknown. Unknown G is atop the waterfall of Obsidian, which means atop the Obsidian Falls, and that's where you'll find it. Unknown I is in the lake island where emotion resides, which of course means a lake verity and it stands behind the cave. Unknown S is where Stick and Log dam the river, which is a tidewater dam where Bidoof and Alpha Biberel like to roam. Unknown X is the easiest one in the Fieldlands. Scale the Grand Tree, which means literally that. Scale the Grand Tree in the Grand Tree Arena and you'll find it in the top branch. Done with the Obsidian Fieldlands, we'll move on to the Crimson Marlands. Unknown A is within the settlement where time rolls, which means a diamond settlement of course. Just search the tent and it's gonna be stuck there. Unknown D is among stumps and campfire ashes in Fields of Gold, which is in the Golden Lowlands, where you first fought the Misfortune Sisters. A 
and known caves where stones pile high amid fogbound ruins. Fogbound ruins means of course the shrouded ruins and there are a lot of piled high stones. All we gotta do is find the right ones. Unknown M is in the tree felled on sludge, which means it is in the sludge mount. This one I found without on the lookout, so maybe you already found it as well. Unknown V is in a withered tree in a sprawling red swamp. This is of course a scarlet bog and it will be hanging on the tree. Pretty confusing since there's a lot going on there, but by looking at my map you'll find it for sure. Done in the Crimson Marlands, we make our way to the Cobalt Coastlands. Unknown B advise you to turn your eyes up at the Volcano Island. That's of course Fire Speed Island and you just have to find the right place to look up. You might have to fight an Alpha, so be ready. Unknown N is in two horns rising from the sea, which are the two stone horns in Sand's Reach. All you gotta do is find the right one. Unknown Q is in the twin trees at the spring by the sea. By looking at the map you see it's the spring path and there you'll find the twin trees. Unknown R is by the space upon the cape. There's only one cape and that's Veilstone Cape. Go to its top and check the space between the boulders. Unknown Z is in the time worn ship on a sandy shore. This is the easiest one of all since we all had to go to the ship to find dust lobs for Risken. Done with the Cobalt Coastlands, we move on to the Alabaster Icelands. Unknown O says it's where there are three pillars in the world of ice. Pillars are also columns, and we have the Ice Column Chamber. You have to go a bit deep into it to find the three pillars room and there will be an alpha roaming about so be ready to either fight or run. Unknown T advises you to gaze down from atop the greatest glacial legacy. That's of course Avalux legacy and as it says, look down and you'll find where you have to land to catch it. Unknown U is in the unusual stone staring out across the snowfields. Look up when you get to the Pearl Settlement and you'll see the Arts Crag. Climb until you get there and you'll find the Unknown. Unknown Y tells you scale the frozen falls. No need to scale them, just fly near the icebound falls and you'll see the lonely letter in the ice. A known exclamation mark is in a dead tree by the hot springs. Those are the snowfall hot springs. Get there and you'll find a dead tree and the unknown stuck to it.
Done with the Alabaster Islands, we move on to the Coronet Highlands. An on sea tells you to look to the ruined pillars of Celestica. Those are the Celestica ruins, of course, and if you come from above, you'll see it easily. And on F is in a stony outcrop over pools of mud on a mighty mountain. That's atop the ancient quarry, where Toxicroak will try to attack you, scale the rising stone pillar and you'll find the letter. And on J is in a nook within a quarry. That's also in the ancient quarry, but this time inside it. You'll have to find some Bronzor and Bronzog, but you'll find the letter high in the walls by the middle. And on L is in an impasse in a cave adorned by Twin Falls. A cave adorned by Twin Falls is of course the Wayward Cave. I'll show you how to go from the entrance to the unknown, since it's pretty easy to get lost. Here you'll have to smash some boulders, which I already had, so pretend there are some there. And finally, Anon P is among flowers at the spring where fairies dwell. Spring and fairies mean the fabled spring, where you'll find fairy-type Pokémon and an unknown hiding in lavender-colored flowers. And those are all the unknown locations in Pokemon Legends Arceus. After you catch them all, they will start showing up in the Solacian Ruins, and you can start shiny hunting them if you want. If I helped you in any way, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content. I'll do all kinds of it. You can follow me on social media and Twitch, I stream there Thursday to Sunday, or join our Discord, all the links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.